Hi everyone! Today we are now in week 6 of quarter 3 and our lesson is about finding the next term in a sequence. Let's watch this. We are now in week 6 for the third quarter and our lesson is about the finding the next term in a sequence. Number sequence is a list of numbers in which successive terms follow a rule of pattern. Each number in the sequence is called a term. So we have rules para maging maayos or malaman natin ang sunod-sunod ng number sequence. So every number is called term. So, number sequence natin, study natin yung given numbers, 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, and 21. So, these are the patterns or yung number sequence natin. So, let us find out ano yung rule of pattern natin. So, bakit naging 1 ang sunod ay 3, sunod ay 6, sunod ay 10, sunod ay 15, sunod ay 21. So, hanapin natin ang rule of pattern. So, these numbers... So, tinatawag natin yan na term. Ito mga number na to. So, term. So, yung una, ito yung first term. Three is the second term. Ito yung tinatawag natin na third term. Fourth. Fifth. Then, sixth. So, makikita natin ascending order natin. So, paano next naging kasunod yun? So, one natin, in natin ng 2 para maging 3. So, 3, nag tayo ng 3 para maging 6. Then, 6, nag tayo ng 4 para maging 10. So, meaning, pwede natin sabihin na ang rule of pattern natin is plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, and so on, depende kung hanggang ilan ang term natin. Another example, let us look for the rule and find next three terms of the sequence. So, these are the sequence 3, 6, 12, and 24. Kailangan natin ng dagdaga ng three terms. First, we need to find the rule para madagdagan natin ang next three terms. So, paano ba natin naging rule? So, since ang number natin, kung mapapansin natin, ay ascending, so, pataas. So, para maging 3, we divide it. Or, pwede natin gawin sabihin na 6 divided by 3 equals 2. So, 12 divided by 6 equals 2. So, meaning, we multiplied the term by 2. So, ang rule natin is times 2. So, again, multiplied by 2 or times 2. So, 12 or 24 times 2 equals 48. So, ito na yung next natin na first na terms. Then, 48 times 2 equals 96. Then, 96 times 2 equals 192. So, kung susundan natin kapag minultiply natin yan ng times 2, makukuha natin yung next term pa rin. So, again, ang rule natin is times 2. Let us find the missing terms and rule used in the situation below. 1, 3, 7, 15. So, what's next? Or susunod na term. So, kung titingnan natin, it is ascending order. Then, pwede natin isubtract backwards. So, 15 minus 7 equals 8. 7 minus 3 equals 4. 3 minus 1 equals 2. So, meaning, we multiplied by 2, then add 1. So, 1 times 2 plus 1 equals 3. 3 times 2 equals 6 plus 1 equals 7. 
7 times 2 equals 14 plus 1 equals 15. So 15 times 2 equals 30 plus 1 equals... So multiplied by 2 ang rule natin, plus 1 or times 2 plus 1. So second term equals 1 times 2 plus 1 equals 3. Third term is 3 times 2 plus 1 equals 7. Fourth term, 7 times 2 plus 1 equals 15. So, 15 times 2 plus 1 equals 31. So, the fifth term is 31. And the rule is times 2 plus 1 or plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 ang pattern natin. There is no simple way for solving a problem, unlike exercises. We can get better at solving problems by building up our background knowledge and by simply practicing. As we solve more problems, we learn strategies that can be useful. So, tingnan natin yung mga number, sequence, or pattern kung problem solving or problem na ang given natin. So, example ng problem natin. Carmona Elementary School won a contest and gets to send 10 students to trip in Enchanted Kingdom. All interested students were assigned numbers, and the principal has started reading off the numbers for the student who will attend. 12, 27, 42, 57, and so on, hanggang makatent na estudyante. Jairus realizes there is a pattern to these numbers. So, she has number 82 and wonders if she will be chosen to go on a trip this time. So, makakasama kaya siya? So, let us find out. Notice that the number are in ascending order o pataas. So, likely the involves multiplication or addition. Think, what could you do to 12 to get 27? So, pwede natin sabihin. Paano na naging 12 ang sunod ay 27? So, pwede natin sabihin na we can add or 27 minus 12 equals 15. So, we add 15 or Pwede nating multiply by a mixed number. Pwede rin a combination of two operations, katulad ng ibang binigay natin na given na sample. So, consider natin 27 naman and 42. So, again, we subtract 42 minus 27. The answer is 15. So, meaning, nakuha na ba natin yung pattern? So, laging nag add ng 15. So, the pattern is add 15 or plus 15. So, if we go into add 15, so 12, 27, 42, 57, 72, 87, 102, 117, 132, and 147, yung given numbers na makakasama sa field trip sa Enchanted Kingdom. Do you think makakasama si Jairus kung ang number niya ay 82? So, the answer is no. So, 82 will not be chosen. Then, Jairus won't go be going on the big trip this time. From our learning task 1, we will find or give the missing term. Number 1, 12, 17, 22, 27. What's next? 32. Yes. Why? Because ang follow nating pattern is plus 5. Number 2, 64, 67, 70. The next term is 73. So, ang pattern natin or rule is plus 3. 56, 49, 42, 35. Kung mapapansin natin, descending ang number. So, meaning, ang sunod natin is 28. Paano natin nakuha 28? We subtract minus 7. O, minus 7. Then, learning task 2 natin. Find the missing term and write the rule. So, aside from the term, we will give the rule. 5, 6, 8, blank, 15. Ang sunod ay 11. So, anong rule natin? Plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4. Number 2, 18, 20, 24, blank, 30. So, ang number natin na nawawala ay 30. Why? So, ang pattern natin or rule is plus 2, plus 4, plus 6, and plus 8. Next. 14, 17, 20, 23. Next is 
26. So, what is the pattern or rule? Plus 3. Okay, nakukuha sana yung missing pagkuha ng term uh, sequence and then also the rule. From our learning task 3, we will solve the given problem. Carl has written a number pattern that begins with 1, 5, 9, 13, 17. If she continues this pattern, what are the next 4 numbers in her pattern? So, paano makukuha ng pattern? Identify natin ang rule ng mga susunod dahil ibibigay natin ng 4 numbers pa. So, 5, 1, increasing order to, di ba? So, 17 minus 3, pwede natin subtract backwards, equals 4. 13 minus 9 equals 4 again. 9 minus 5 equals 4 again. So, sana nakuha na natin ang rule. So, pwede natin sabihin na ang rule natin is plus 4. So, 1 plus 4 equals 5. 5 plus 4 equals 9. And so on. So, makukuha na natin by this time dahil meron na tayong rule, makukuha na natin next 4 numbers. So, ang next 4 number natin ay 17 plus 4 equals 21, 25, 29, and 33. Let us remember a sequence is a list of numbers or objects in a defined or logical order. So, we need to find the patterns. So, patterns are repetitive sequences and can be found in nature, shapes, events, sets of numbers, and almost everywhere you care to look para ma-kompleto natin ang isang sequence or find the next term. So, our reference from this module or this video is from Pivot for Air Learners Packet, Math 5, Third Quarter, Week 6. And 21st Century Matlitz 5 Textbook, pages 250-257. Thank you for watching. Thank you, my dear Road to 1,000 subscribers. I am your teacher, Carmi. And don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye!